pretty effective unit composition out of Subsuns. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of Zealot Void Ray right now. He does not have Twilight like, Council for charge or anything like that. It's plus one weapons for ground units just now uh, getting finished up. Actually, that's something we haven't seen a lot today is unit upgrades. And right now, everyone's got, uh, except for Pythonus, everyone's got some plus one armor or weapons on the way at this point. Void Rays now have arrived at the forefront of the battle. This is the Void Ray wall. This is the team game. This is what I know for the 3 3 <laughs> There's big walls of Void Rays coming in and ending the game. So we'll see if NYM is going to be able to stand up against this with their few remaining Marines and Roaches. It doesn't look too good for them right now. Though. No, absolutely not. Like that's got the siege tank in the range as well, so most of those Marines for Pythonus have already fallen down. There's a couple of Roaches left, but those are just plumping themselves up against these tanks. These tanks, whoa, with a lot of kills. 16 kills, 5 kills, 5 kills. Okay, I just managed to the 16 <laughs> kill one first. I tend to do something like that. But, uh, yep, Optic Zero is going to be able to take out this entry very quickly. Those charged up Void Rays now so powerful. A few units coming up for uh, Dali as fast as they can. I don't think that's going to be enough, though. Hydralists are a good choice, but there's just not enough to counter this ridiculous number of Void Rays that's already on the field. Optic Zero is still producing two at times, still reinforcing with those Void Rays as fast as we can. And this does not look good for him right now. Optic Zero, I apologize about your dumb Forge fast as <laughs> turned out okay. It turned out better than expected. And uh, Dolly was just too far invested into Roaches, which actually weren't very effective at any point in this game. He never got a big... I mean, they did get one big attack off at, at Select's Natural, but they were denied entry to the main, so the Roaches kind of just fell flat. And Roaches are actually allergic to laser beams. <laughs> <laughs> well, from what I've seen so far, yes, they are, as a matter of fact. Um, so let's see here. Looks like, yeah, I don't know if to do most of the rest of the base. You're trying to reinforce with whatever you can. He's actually putting up a bunch of barracks over here at the top left-hand corner, trying to establish a new mining base to do whatever sort of production he can in the Mass Marines. Very TLO-esque there, no gas, few SEVs, bunch of racks. But um, that is going to be a case of too little too late, I imagine, as, look at this, Optic Zero still reinforcing with yet more Void Race, has a ridiculous number of those going. Um, I believe he has 11 on the field at the moment. He's still producing two at a time and going to Protoss Air Weapons Level 1. He's going to be able to sit here and rock the rest of the base and the supply goes fall. Uh, Pythonus is not going to be able to do that. Well, Pythonus still has not mined out his main like, units into this game. Yeah. That's just the uh, proven effect of the selection of the grass early on. And that was hard to kill gas in my third. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Oh, no. Well, now we know. <laughs> yeah. Good prodigy on the case, I suppose. But um, we have Optic Zero to select this crash. The main of Pythonus now probably is going to be rallying everything together to eventually sweep over uh, MYM's Dolly next. And Pythonus is actually so far supply blocked, he can't even really build any more Marines right now. Nope. No, he can't. And Optic Zero is going to run, run into the rest of the units, and we are going to talk to Prodigy. Um, and these were brand new maps, so there were going to be, you know, a couple of, of little mistakes and things like that. But uh, overall, they are pretty darn good maps, and I have enjoyed watching matches on them. Now, these Infestors do have enough for fungal growth, so those Void Rays have to get away. They can't clump themselves up, as Void Rays are wont to do. Uh, we do have, let's see here. Oh, Pythonus is still very, very supply blocked. Is he, he able is. to mine gas? No, he's thrown up a refinery into the same sort of base. Yeah, so it may just be this one down here in the bottom right-hand corner. Yeah, selects be okay as well. All right, just, just curious for my own course. And he has these approaches again. Very allergic to laser beams. There are some things that are here as well. Like, he does have burrow and tunneling claws, and I don't believe there is any detection there aside from scan. So uh, that could be an interesting way to try and going, but um, obviously with Pythonus being unable to create anything except six Marines at a time, this does not look good still. Uh, I'm actually very surprised that there's so many Roaches there instead of Pythonus. Yeah. Yep, absolutely, because those, uh, yeah, those plus one Warden Rays are pretty darn powerful with any Roaches, don't tell ya. And yeah, unfortunately Team NYM has to leave the game. So there we go. It is even up. Something has even up. We're going to move into the rubber match here. Both teams find themselves one game away from elimination in the first Prodigy Team Star League. Obviously, they don't want that to happen, and I'm hoping that um, <laughs> hoping that we'll see a great Game 3 here coming up. I'm not sure what map it's going to be. Maybe Optic Zero will get his wish and see a new map. I don't know if they played on Twilight Fortress yet or not. I don't think so as well, and uh, the way these teams have been playing so far, we could be in store for a nice long macro match. 